Hey everyone, welcome to the Brick Nation channel. I'm Ultimate Bricks, this is my first video on the Brick Nation channel. And today, I'm going to be showing everyone how to build these heavy duty sliding doors for your Lego mocks. The different kind of pieces you'll need for a project like this are 1x bricks, 2x bricks, slopes of different directions, plenty of smooth tiles, and a couple plates. For this project, we can start with just a normal base plate, or if you are directly integrating this into a mock, you can start with that. And this video is just about how to build the door, not about how to build the mock or whatever you want to put this door in. So I'm just going to assume that there is already a nice base or you can just build some sort of frame with just a wall. You don't really need these side things. But as long as there's just a wall with some sort of opening, you are good to go. The next step really where you're going to need all these nice smooth tiles. In order for your door to run smoothly, you need to make sure there are plenty of these smooth tiles in the mock. And another thing that you can do is um, just uh, put enough tiles in here just to make sure that it looks nice. Now I don't want you to uh, have to sit through too much of this, so cue the time lapse. is done the next step is to build the doors my plan is to make two doors that are perfectly even so first I will lay out the base this is the base for the first door it will be three of those plates and then the base for the other door will be more of those plates first I will do a one there one here here and here and these are what the doors will rest on you really need to uh, hold these together so the first thing that you can do is just uh, place a brick on there, just like this, holding all of those together. And now this is where you're going to need those first slopes. So you can take one of these slopes and just place it right here. And on the other side, the point is to do it the opposite. So you can take two of these slopes or just one that's connected and put it on just like that. And then, of course, you will want to put another brick right there like that so now the point is as you can see these actually will fit together and so you just want to continue to build that up so what you want to do now is you can just flip these around or whatever you want and um, well then what the next point is is to take um just to do the opposite so now that we have this tile like that now it goes in like that and then on this side it will go in like that so now you can see how they start to um me together so you can just take some bricks and fill this in just like that and take some bricks in like this however this is the only real complicated part and for the second part what you're going to want to do take one of these bricks and stick it too far that way and too far this way and then you can just take a one by one brick and even that out and this is really going to come and play later 
but on the one plate on brick up you place one sticking out and that is extremely important and now just what I'm going to do is just continue to build these up so just put some more bricks on right here or slopes on right there put a couple more bricks on like that stack up some bricks on top for the door and then stack up a couple more of these uh, slopes because those are important so you want to get a bunch of these slopes on right there just like that and you can put some more and then what you're going to want to do is put another brick on and then after you got that brick on you can start fixing some of it up with some nice uh, tiling work just to make it look a little bit nicer as well as this will help it run smoother when it's done and you're going to want to do the exact same thing to the other one just like this just uh, place that on and so now you got two nice doors that move together and uh, together with just a tiny bit of gap but it really does look nice the next step will be of course to integrate this somehow into your mock and so as you can see these little runners right here is what these doors will be running on and the reason you have these little things sticking out is so that the doors will know exactly where to stop so what you're going to want to do next is build up some uh, little things that look like this they'll be basically two of these bricks with a bunch of plates on top holding it together and you want two of these and these will come right over here and you want to uh, put these somewhere where the doors meet in the middle so if you flip it around and try to line up the crack in the middle of the door then turn it back around and you want to have this thing lining up about there so this looks like the best positioning for it and then now that you have it right there you'll want to take one of these bricks and just figure out what evenly works so I've figured out for my door that the evenness is actually a lever so the lever provides a correct um, spacing and distance so if you see this thing it also looks pretty nice so this thing hits the lever which um, makes it so that the door cannot go more than halfway. So even if there's only one door in, this door can only go halfway, and this door can only go halfway, meaning that these doors will always meet directly in the center. One more thing that would be nice to do is add a couple bricks to make sure that the doors don't like slide back so far that they fall off. So you only really want the doors coming back that far. So an easy thing to do is just place some bricks right here to make sure that the doors don't go too far back. And now you have the doors in this nice little track. And so you're almost guaranteed that the doors will never uh, come out of their runner place. The final step will just to build a couple of these. And you can place these right on the top just like this. And this will make sure that the doors don't like fall out of place. So the doors run inside of these. And you can build a uh, bunch of these and like really build it in. But just for this tutorial, you don't really need to do that. So, anyways, that's it. Like, really, for what I can say, this is you creation. So, anyways, this is the doors. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. If you're going to make these yourself, please tell me that in the comment section down below as well. Remember to subscribe to the Brick Nation on screen as well as subscribe to my channel. Link in the description box below and all the founders as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.